<laughs> oh, he's just playing with us now. Come on. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Burke. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. We are about to get into a reaction of Dimash. The king himself, you don't understand, I'm so excited. Literally every one of these videos, you guys are just watching me fanboy. I mean, can we all agree that he is amazing? One of the best, if not the best vocalist right now. If you're new to the family, make sure to hit the subscribe button right over there. If you want to learn how to sing, if you're watching videos like these of me reacting to Dimash and you're like, man, I wish that I could be up on a stage performing. Well, that's definitely what I thought literally like eight years ago. I used to be tone deaf. I couldn't sing to save my life. Now I'm a professional singer and I'm telling you if I can do it, you definitely can. Take the free lesson on Singer. You might have heard about it. It's my singing training program. The link is down in the description. It's a 15 minute lesson. I'm instructing it. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. I know this sounds crazy. You're probably like, okay, yeah, Justin, you're hyping yourself up about this lesson. No, I'm telling you, over 10,000 people have taken this. And everyone, I mean, probably like 99.9% .9 of people have told me that they have heard an improvement immediately after. Before you go to the next video, just make sure to give that little 15 minute lesson a try. Okay, let's get into this reaction. <sighs> just the charisma, you know? Beautiful vibrato, beautiful vowel. Look at that tongue placement too. Soft palette raised in the back, beautiful. At 23 seconds. And that entire time, the vibrato was so stable, it never got wobbly. He never even kind of wavered from the pitch, you know, got a little bit flat, a little bit sharp. Many times when singers, good singers too, I mean, we've all been there, you're holding a note and it's still technically on the pitch, but it's just a little bit under it or a little bit above, right? Either a little bit flat, a little bit sharp, and you kind of waver in and out, and then once you hit vibrato, typically that's when singers will find the pitch again. But he just nailed it, almost as if it's like he's using auto-tune, which he's not, and that is just so incredible. The coordinations that he's able to do with his vocal cords literally makes me rethink my life. Yes! <laughs> oh, he's just playing with us now. Come on. Okay, that is incredible. Just how stable those notes are. He is holding that pitch just almost perfectly, never really going flat, never going sharp. And then the vibrato is so stable. Notice how stable the vibrato is. Incredible. His breath support and management, impeccable. Listen to that mixed belt. He's like, what is going on? <laughs> I've seen this one before. 22 seconds as he's changing in and out of notes. And mind you, many times, every time, typical singers will change to different notes, they lose a little bit of breath, right? Maybe a little bit of breath comes out every time they move to a different coordination, move to a different pitch, a different note. Whereas he has such control over his breath that he's able to do those intricate melodies while sustaining his breath, while managing his breath, holding the breath to be able to sustain that long sequence of, of notes, that long melody there. I mean, it's absolutely spectacular. His, his vocal coordinations are so good. I just, I don't even know at this point. Ah, listen to that tone. I love his bright, such a bright coloring in his mixed belts. So good. Ooh, you go. And you gotta love the wind in the hair too. You gotta love the wind machines. That melody is so intricate and to think that he's also doing that while throwing himself onto the stage, right? The charisma that he has on stage, but also he's able to maintain control over his chords, over his breath. I just want you to know how much training 
that he's had to go, that he has had to have gone through, that he has been through, the training that he has been through to be able to do this is so great. And I feel like many times people are watching these and they're just like, oh, wow, he's so good. It's like, no, 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 no. You do not realize he has sacrificed to be able to showcase this skill. And as a vocal coach and as a singer myself and a performer myself, I mean, you just have to watch this and be nothing but inspired. To show what's possible. He makes me want to go do a mixed voice session on Singer or like a riff and run session on Singer and just go crazy and just improve my voice. I mean, I hear people like him and I'm just like, I want to improve. This is amazing. Mm. Ooh, a little more pop quality there. I like that. Man, it's holding that. Oh my gosh. And keeping the breath on each of those note transitions. <sighs> yes, go off, brother. Go off. Take us to church now. Oh my gosh. That is increased. It's just, it's just so amazing. You know, I would like to know if there's a song that's a little more poppy from him or a little more R&B or soulful. I would love to hear his voice on a more soulful song where he can still go up into those high mix belts. Um, that'd be really interesting. Leave me a comment if, he, if he's ever done a song that's a little more um, just, just of like a soul song. I'd love to hear that. Ah. Ah. His vocal cord adduction. Which is how he's getting up, which is how he's transitioning to all those notes so seamlessly. Oh. Do you have to ride on on that little... And then adds the vibrato. Gosh, six, six. okay, you guys have to understand that he was holding that note, as far as I can tell, near perfect, straight toned. Many times, as I said before, you need some vibrato. Most singers will, if they're just going straight toned and they're holding it for over like five seconds, they're gonna dip. Typically people don't go sharp, typically they dip. So they're gonna go a little bit flat under the note and then as soon as the, ah, the vibrato kicks on, they're gonna come back and hit the note just right on, um, right? Because it's oscillating. The, the notes are oscillating in between the pitch when you're singing vibrato. But he's able to stay spot on with a straight tone and then just continue nailing it on vibrato. It's insane. Mm. Come on. I love when he abducts his chords, right? So he lets a little more air through the chords to give it that nice breathy quality, but it's still present. It's amazing how he can go from a, um, a very breathy coordination and a breathy tone to piercing, right? Adducting his chords, having that chord closure to be able to get up into those high mixed belts, but then he can bring it back down and be so breathy again. The dynamics that he has are just so good. Ah. He's like, are you hearing this? <laughs> the power. Huh. Is this a little more? Uh. Listen to that vowel. And look at his tongue placement, soft palate raised in the back. To really get that rounded out resonant quality. Whew. Oh my gosh. That was a rethink your life moment. Can we agree on that? Leave a comment. Did you make it this far? 
or did you die from Dimash's voice before uh, this video ended? Because I, I don't even know. I was going to comment on it, and then I completely lost my train of thought because that was so spot on, so intricate, so good. Never once did I hear a dip. You know, and that's a very, you know, there's going to be a lot of reverb in that um, in that room, which also makes it hard to stay on unless he has really good in-ears. Never once did I hear a dip. And that that's just... That's that's crazy. When I when I say dip, I mean just like either nailing the note spot on, or you kind of have to dip up to the note, right? So many times singers transitioning to different notes, they'll dip up. That's something we work on in singer a lot. It's just being spot on with your agility, right? When you're singing notes, you are hitting it right on. You're not kind of dipping up or dipping down into it. And he just hit those spot on, but that was so fast. That coordination's insane. I'd love to get into his mind and just see what is he thinking when he's hitting these intricate melodies. Beautiful. Mm. Oh, nice harmony too on there. Isn't that blend matching the oscillations of vibrato there? I don't cry that often, okay? I, I, and I would rarely ever cry at a performance. But Damash is the kind of guy that can make a grown man cry, and that rhymed, and that was super corny, but I didn't mean to do that, I promise. But my gosh, I mean, if I saw him live, I think I'd tear up. Because he's, it's just so good, and, and as a coach, understanding what it takes to be able to have that kind of skill, makes it mean so much more to me when I'm listening to him. So I think that I think that that's amazing. And I just really want you to know that there is so much training that goes into becoming someone like Dimash. And it's not like he's some superhuman. Maybe he is. I don't even know. Maybe he's an alien. I, I, I Honestly, I'm not too sure. But even if you have 1% of Dimash's skill, you can still be a great singer. And you can train your voice. You can improve so many people are getting vocal transformations with singer you might have heard of it by now it's been spreading like wildfire the word of mouth i just so appreciate so many of you guys spreading singer because it really is the way to improve your voice when so many people are trying to rip people off nowadays some people are trying to scam people with these overpriced like programs that don't really work trust me i've taken pretty much all of them and there's some good ones out there but they're so expensive and you try to take vocal lessons and some coaches are good some aren't but that just adds up the costs add up and with singer i'm telling you you get 70 hours of on-demand content and this is hands down the best vocal training you're going to get you're going to get it all on demand i'm instructing all of it but these are things that some of the best of the best coaches taught me and i'm taking all of this information and relaying it to you in a format that is so easy so efficient and so effective to follow and recently we opened up a private group where you can send in videos, I can respond to them, you can network directly with me, ask me questions. When I hear your voice, I will know exactly what you will need to work on. And that's all once you're inside Singer and you've got the actual program. Again, the link is down in the description. You can also network with other singers within, um, within that group. Again, you can network with me. It's the best way to actually get in touch with me and ask me personal questions. I'll be able to help you along your singing journey. And that's what I want. I really want you to be confident in your voice. And I'm telling you, Singer is the way to do that. And so if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out. Take the free lesson. The link is down in the description. All right. Tons of love. I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Peace. Who you are is blue.